Ka'a'aba Canine Rescue on Oahu's Windward Coast is one of the shelters on the island where taking care of homeless animals is an everyday job. Today, we're riding along with Michelle and Mariner as they go about a typical day. The first stop is to take two Chihuahua puppies to their new forever home. But the question on everyone's mind is, will they adapt to their new surroundings with an older dog? We're here waiting for Michelle from Ka'aba Canine Rescue to bring two puppies over, one for us and one for my daughter. And, and this is Athena. So we're excited to give Athena more siblings because we lost her brother. He was a nine-year-old boxer. When he passed, we kept his original collar. I remember putting it on the bed next to Athena and she knew it was his. She laid next to it and sniffed it for about five minutes and just stayed next to it. I think she misses him very much. <gasps> the babies are here, come on. Oh my gosh. She's a little one and she's like the little porker. So oh, they got, they got the porker? yesterday. Athena. We'll let her be the one to go up there. She's, she's got to do it on her terms, look at her. She's the type of dog that she has to go to you. Like we can't force the puppies to be next to her. She has to go next to the puppies. I expect that she's gonna be very gentle and I'm hoping some maternal instincts will kick in since she never had a litter of her own. Come on in. I sanitized the couches and everything so you can sit. I know so it's because the puppies are here and Athena is not so sure about the puppies yet. This one is going to be a handful and brave, but um, I, I have decided that it's time for Athena to have a playmate again. Athena, Maggie's dog, was a little hesitant at first. She, she didn't know quite what to make of the, of the puppies. They were being puppies and, and running around and exploring. They were fine. I could see that their dog was apprehensive to socialize with the puppies. And I also noticed that their dog sits on their lap. So I was like, trying to explain to her that they should take their dogs, all three of them, for a pack walk together. You're all walking together in a pack, then they're gonna come together more. Right now it's not like this. Michelle and Mariner leave the new puppies at their new home. But Michelle is concerned that the puppies won't be socialized correctly in order to get along with the old dog. She urges the owners to take them for walks together to get them to become comfortable around each other. And these are the next ones we gotta raise up home here. <laughs> the job of running a shelter is always challenging, and there's never any downtime. They're with dogs all day long. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the shelter, Michelle and Mariner are loading up another group of dogs to go for an off-leash run to help them become more socialized as a pack. This step is important in order for dogs to be ready for their new make forever sure her homes. Color is tight. The off-leash run is up in a rural area of the mountains, so each dog is fitted with a tracking collar to be on the safe side. Let's go, baby. This girl, Zoe, this is her first pack run. You know, she hasn't had a lot of exercise in the past. She's just been stuck in the kennels. So we're gonna see how she does. We have a tracker on her just in case she uh, she gets lost. And we're letting her off right now. Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, she's off. Stay tuned to find out how Zoe does off-leash right after these messages. 